Dr. Krishnamurthy in the first um, few minutes when we met. She sat on a low stool and I was up on the, the bed and she just was talking to me in the most um, kind of ordinary way. It wasn't like I had anything wrong with me and it wasn't like she had some extraordinary special knowledge and skills that she actually does have. My first few meetings with her were very much me sharing my life story. Um, it was quite surprising how much she cared about what was happening in my life, sort of understanding me as a person, how I lived my lifestyle. And then of course there was the medical component of it, the physical exam, and then the follow-up with the testing. But I think it was the general approach, which is seeing how I live and really caring about my life that really allowed me to start to take my, my illness seriously. She told me basically things that made me feel like I didn't need to worry so much. And I came and I met with her and I was, you know, I was scared. I didn't know what was up. And we just connected like right away. And she was so welcoming. And I found out that I was like one of her first, I think I was her first patient, which makes me, makes me feel so special. That was what I was most wondering, you know, is this going to be like all of a sudden now I'm having seizures all the time or, or what? And so having follow-up appointments, talking about that made me feel better. Once my, um, I had my medications um, established and they were working and they were keeping me from having seizures, I felt like I could do anything. I couldn't do a lot of stuff, but I didn't want it to just be me. I sort of didn't want to be the epileptic. It was like, I have it, and but there's tons of other stuff part of me too, and it's, I mean, it's like any diagnosis of anything that I believe in, it's not who you are. Cavell's incredible. Uh, when you call, Cavell knows you. Uh, she knows my voice, she knows my name. I think if I didn't feel comfortable to be honest with her, because she's so warm, I wouldn't have been so forthcoming about my experience. And then I changed my life um, accordingly.